Do you ever regret moving back to Texas? Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 15. My mom and I are at Highland Park Village. My nails, guys, right now. This is literally not okay. Um, oh, wait, mom, maybe they're moving. Are they leaving? Is Zachary leaving? Looks like it. My mom so. had to get her celery juice as soon as she woke up. So we're at the juice bar and we're trying to find parking. It's not going too great. I This is my first day where I have no homework. No podcast stuff because I had to get it all sent in for the remainder of the year. I only have Vlogmas, so I have literally nothing on my Google Calendar. Can you believe that? Not one thing on my Google Calendar. Are you freaking out? Or are you? Yeah, I don't it? know what to do. <laughs> no, I'm not <laughs> enjoying it at all. I literally don't know what to do. So maybe I'll have a chill day. Oh, I might. He's getting something out of his car. <laughs> I think. And this person's just sitting in here enjoying the toasty. Yeah, beer, I guess. I think I might watch a TV show. What do you do in this post-grad life? Most people are looking for jobs, I guess. Guys, they need a hot Pilates studio at Highland Park Village. How is it? Huh. Good? She got two. It's celery juice. My mom, I moved out and she became one of those crazy organic whole food moms. Medical medium. All of the above. Yeah. All about medical medium right now. You know, I was telling someone though, I was like, my mom looks younger than she did 10 years ago right now. And I was like, it's either the hair or it's her organic food. It's the nutrition. Know. For uh -huh. sure. Must be that. Okay. Everything's closed. So we're going to Royal Blue. Oh, so cute. Okay, after the celery juice, guys, I'm craving a kolache at the donut store. So that's where we are. Might get some Starbucks too. Everyone gets. Oh, by the way, for those of you. Maybe. Okay. For those of you who get mad that I called it a kolache, it's just what everyone calls it here. Okay, I'm sorry. In case you haven't seen the vlogs where I share my order, this is it. Vanilla sweet cream cold brew, no peppermint. I mean, no vanilla with peppermint. So good. Look at me. I just woke up from a like four hour nap. Didn't even realize I was so tired. Great. It is 6.30 p.m. Look at Coco. Um, I just showered, I'm in a sports bra and just sweatpants. I have some things I need to do around the house. I finally have energy, it is 6.30. I needed that nap. I have just been so drained and like, I've just been so drained and unmotivated this week. I don't know, there's just been so much going on. And so anyways, I just showered, I self tanned. It's an express tan. So um, I don't know when we'll be able to see it, but I love these sweatpants from Misguided. I forgot about them, but, but they're so soft. And I'm back with my Ugg slippers. There's my Uggs in the background. And there's Fitz. Anyways, I need to take laundry down, which is like my least favorite thing to do. I think I have a package. I don't know. We're gonna get to, we're gonna get going with our day finally, guys. As soon as the camera goes on, you just have so much to say. Guys, I am sorry for today's vlog. This is the laziest day of 2020 for me, and it feels incredible. It's exactly what I needed. Oh, by the way, I'm wearing my Barefoot Dreams robe. It is so cozy. I have so many blankets. I don't have the cardigan, but this is like the softest, coziest thing ever. And I'm such a robe person matching pajama sets. It's just a good way to elevate your everyday experiences. Anyways, guys, I ordered this um, set dropped on Revolve and they had a chocolate brown set. I ordered this so quick and it came in within like two days. Okay, I will link it below, but I was so excited because I was trying to get chocolate brown leggings like the Alliance from Lulu, but they are so out of stock and honestly when they come back in stock I'll probably still buy them just because Alliance are so soft. Oh, oh my god guys, I might wear these tomorrow. Look how cute. Look how cute. I wear a size medium in set active by the way. I really like their stuff. I have a lot of sets. Um, they're really flattering. 
they work for my workouts and then this is a size medium but isn't this just the cutest thing ever guys i need to work out tomorrow that's another reason why i've been so tired i've just been kind of off my workout game but also guys i got the gen z dictionary by kelly king this is Kike's Juicy Poles mom, and I love her. She's incredible. So funny. So it's just like, obviously, Gen Z dictionary, but it's really good. One, it's just a really good book to have around the house because it's funny. Two, great stocking stuffer. Three, really great for content because I'm going to make some TikToks with my mom, and this is going to be funny. I'll have the link below, but it's so cute, guys. I'm going to finish my Aveline Aveline wine. I got this solely because it's Cameron Diaz's wine, and we know I love Cameron. Not the biggest wine gal, but, you know, I try her on the holidays, so... <laughs> this is literally all I had left. There's something so, like, fun about being 23 and, like, pouring yourself a glass of wine. It also takes me, like, six hours to finish one glass of wine, so... You know, we're trying. Okay, I probably look a little bit crazy because I self-tan, but I'm gonna answer some questions. Do you have any post-grad plan? You see, I would, but the pandemic, I feel like now that I've graduated, I'm putting extra pressure on myself to like find something else to do, even though I'm already kind of like doing a lot. For the next year, I think I'm just going to devote to like doing exactly what I'm doing and building everything out and making that better and growing everything that I'm doing. I would love to travel, but you know, we already know all this. I would love to rent a place in Nashville for a month, in New York for a month. So we'll see, I have no idea. I don't really have set plans as of right now. Honestly, in the next year I have so much freedom, but we're in a pandemic. So like, I don't, I don't know. Comment below how many of you guys graduated or when you guys graduated or if you even went to school at all. Fitz is just staring at me as I film. How to get over a narcissistic long-term ex. First off, I'm really sorry. I think people prolong getting over breakups because they sit around and sulk and like fixate on the relationship that wasn't really the reality of the relationship. And even if it was, like it just didn't work out. Obviously with a narcissist, it's a very different thing. But something that I'm actually grateful for when I go through a breakup is if my ex-boyfriend does something that like really makes me mad or treats me horribly or like does X, Y, and Z. Anytime I'm like emo, I just remember that. And I'm like, oh wait, I would deserve a lot better. Also, um, if you're like dating more seriously, just thinking like, I don't want my son to be like him at all. That really helps. I'm trying to think of other things. But yeah, I think you have to just be really realistic with yourself and patterns over potential, not, so like don't fixate on someone who they could be because that's not who they are. That's not like the reality that we're facing right now. Advice for getting a dog. So I have two dogs, I'm 23. I got a dog in college. I guess I technically got both of them in college. I just had a different college experience though. Like I didn't live on campus. A lot of it was online, you know, whatever. So I wouldn't recommend people getting dogs in college. Also dogs are a big financial responsibility. So make sure that you're good in that area because they get expensive. Honestly, getting a dog is the best decision ever. Like Fitz, my mom and I talk about this all the time. He is the best dog ever. It took me no time to potty train him. No, like he's a very unrealistic standard of a dog. And we have like 10 dogs in our family and everyone agrees that Fitz is the best. I was really, really serious about crate training him and doing all this stuff with him this time around. Um, I really lucked out with the world's greatest dog. I love Coco too, but I'm just talking about getting a new dog and that's obviously the most recent. Just know the responsibility and make sure that you can actually afford it because I work from home. It just makes it easier for me because I'm already home. Are you dating? Okay. I get this question all the time. It's not that I'm not dating. I just don't know anyone to date. Like who would I date here? I'm very picky. I like say this to my family. My family's like, really? Yeah, I'm not like not dating, but I'm not dating. You know what I mean? I'm getting a lot of questions on when is Dom coming back. I don't know, we FaceTime today. Think about Dom is Dom just books a flight like the next day. So maybe if you guys hound her enough, she will be coming back soon. We have plans like upcoming. So something you'll look for in your future relationship. Okay, I saw this post on Instagram recently. I don't even remember where I saw it, but they were like, he can do all these things and treat you well and have all these qualities, but if there's like no fruit from his life, then like reconsider that. Any advice for saving money? I'm 20 and want to be more responsible with my money. Have a separate savings account, like not even within your bank, get a high yielding savings account and then decide you're gonna put whatever percentage is realistic for you, whether it's 10% or 20% into your savings account because you transfer it outside of your account. You're like paying this account. Do you see what I'm saying? Favorite songs off Evermore. Let's look. Guys, I actually like Evermore better than Folklore. <gasps> New merch for you, Casey Musgraves. You know what? I already bought Casey Musgraves 
sweats out. Where did that go? Tis the damn season. Oh my gosh, we haven't even talked about this in the vlog. Okay, tis the damn season. I've been getting so many DMs from you guys because it really is like the winter. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about when I'm talking about a winter break fling, it's more of like a podcast thing that we talk about. It's this thing that I invented when I was like 19 and you know, less responsible and wise. I don't do this anymore, but basically I would like secure a winter break fling every time I would come home. And it was this whole thing. And so many of you guys have been DMing me that tis the damn season is like the winter break fling song and I couldn't agree more that actually might be my favorite tolerate it really good I think happiness is a really beautiful song um cowboy like me long story short closure honestly I love the album I like it better than folklore favorite qualities of Sophie okay my niece if you guys couldn't tell I, Sophie has completely changed my life plans because I cannot wait to be a mom because I love her so much I realize that she is like the absolute perfect child and it's very rare but um, my daughter will be exactly like her she's just so funny and she's very like confident sure of herself but like just funny I don't know she's so good I could like go on and on and talk about how much I love her and just cry because she's perfect would you be able to live with Dom as your permanent roommate Yes, honestly, I could. Yes, if there was another bedroom here, 100%. We just don't have room. But we actually, like, live together very, very well. Some Christmas book recs, please. Guys, I just posted an entire Instagram post with a bunch of winter break book recs to read. How to deal with the grief of your parents' divorce. I posted an entire video dealing with divorce, so definitely go watch that. I talk a lot more about it in there. How are you really doing? Could be better. This week has been hard. I don't even really know why. I just feel so off. But I'm feeling better, so I think that like by tomorrow I'll be back on my game, you know? Do you ever regret moving back to Texas? No, I'm actually like way happier here. I think this past week has been the first time where I've been like, okay, I really need to get out and go somewhere else. But not because of Texas, just because I just want to go somewhere. I don't regret moving back at all. I think this year would have been 3,000 times harder if I was in LA. I love being here. I love being near my family. There are definitely... There's been a few times where I'm like, I have a little bit of FOMO and I'm worried like career wise with being here and stuff. Not that I don't already feel this, but I just know that one day I'm going to be like, oh my God, no wonder I moved here. Like that was the best thing ever, even though I already feel that now, but I'm just saying, I feel like there will be other reasons as to why. Does that make sense? Anyways, this is what I mean by how long it takes me to drink wine, guys. I'm so afraid that I'm going to be up until like 3 a.m. That is going to be it for today's vlog. I'm really excited for the next two vlogs because I have plans and I'm in a better mood. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. I love you guys so much. I cannot believe that we are already going to be at Vlogmas Day 17 tomorrow. That is insane. Okay. Love you guys. Bye.